Well, we got through with that. So basically what I'm going to do is show you a lot of gross pathology. What I'm going to do is convert them to grayscale and video invert them so white's black and black is white. And then they're going to look just like the ultrasound so you'll get a good understanding of why they look the way they do. I will say that we worry terribly about cysts, but we worry too much about them because most cysts are benign. Uh, but having said that, there's always exceptions to the rule, so you'll you still like a systematic way of evaluating them. The percentage of cysts that we classify as not simple now is greater than it used to be for two reasons. We pushed our scan parameters to the point where we're creating a haze inside of image, so we create a little haze inside those cysts that makes them look like they've got echoes in them. And we have better spatial resolution, so there's real stuff that exists inside of cysts that pathologists have always reported that we can now see. Remember that each area of fibrocystic change starts from a single TDLU. A single TDLU may have 50 to 60 asini within it, and they become filled with fluid, so they become little black sacs. And the normally loose gray stromal tissue becomes fibrosclerotic or hyalinized, so it gets white. So part of, this, part of the TDLU gets too black and part gets too white. So this is a long axis view of a single TDLU. Here's the extralabial terminal duct, the intralabial terminal duct, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cystically dilated acini around the outside. And the fibrous tissue between the acini is too white. It's the, the fibro part of fibrocystic change. That's why we don't call it cystic change. We call it fibrocystic change. As these acini enlarge, the walls between them become ruptured, so there are fewer larger ones. And if they all rupture, then we get a simple cyst. And again, we think the simple cysts occur because the duct twists and obstructs the drainage of fluid. Uh, normally, there's a little twist to the ducts anyway, uh, which allows them to expand. But if they twist too much, then they obstruct and form a tension cyst. This is as benign as anything we find in medicine, and these are just normal.